What's up, guys? It's James and Carla here, and we're doing Tech Today. All right, this is the week's roundup, and the first mm -hmm. we want to talk about is robotic tail. You brought this one to me. Yes, What's I going saw on this here? one. Um, Japanese people have created a robotic tail for the elderly. Okay. No, oh. it's not a cute, fluffy tail, cause you know Japan's all about that kawaii life. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's a creepy robotic tail. Okay, so okay, it's for the elderly, so it's not really like I can't go up climbing yeah, trees with the tail. Yeah, I'm not against it. Like if it's help, it's there to help older people. I get it, but. But I know. can't like go climbing a tree with monkey tails. What you're saying? No. Okay, it's I'll like, wait for revision two when it's more amazing, and then I'll get it. It's a one meter long tail. It's it's big. No, and it's <laughs> it's like it's it's weird. <laughs> but if it works, it works, and that's all that matters. All right, and then we also have a surgery taking place. This one is okay. So you know, using robots to do surgery is nothing new, but they're usually like you know just a few feet away. This yeah. surgery was completed twenty miles away from the patient. Is that true? It worked. What type of surgery? I don't. I forget. But. The point is, is they're like his life is on the line, but for science. <laughs> I don't know. It wasn't life threatening. They weren't like emergency room, but okay. Um, you know, it's, could you imagine having doctors anywhere around the world, twenty four hours? That's true. Like right? if the do the doctors can start doing surgery from home, right? I bet they would love that. I think that is an amazing advancement, and I look forward to more awesome experiences yes. with that. Yeah. Um, okay, so we also talked about a previous episode where a company was creating a conversion for your uh, old vehicles to make them electric. Mm -hmm. Volkswagen is officially doing that with a partnered company. So they're going to supply them the parts oh. and you can turn your old Volkswagen Beetle into a fully electric vehicle. That's good. That's awesome, but you know, I personally never like the, the Beetle look. It's too... Oh, I think I think it's all right. It's, 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 it's cute. I would drive it. I like. A modern version of it would be, uh, I guess, like a Mini Cooper. I love Mini Coopers. I still don't like They're Mini Coopers. Cute. I just don't like small cars. I like big cars, <laughs> but then also like, when I was a teenager, a Mini Cooper was what I wanted. But hey, at least this way for those who want to keep it around, but also not have that hang up of it being gas. Go. You got a nice little alternative, and they're looking to do it as well for the Volkswagen um, station wagons, the nice big old vans. Yeah. Hey, awesome for you guys who out there. Anything to save the earth, you know. Can't we be against that. <laughs> God, I hope not. And we also have Facebook dating. So this is nothing new, but it's now rolled yeah, out into the about U.S. This before. Yeah, it's now officially rolled out in the U.S. But the big thing here is, they've it's what it's rolled out. No, no, like rolled out. Oh, rolled out. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. sorry. I thought it was like canceled. People were like, no. I would want to cancel it. But anyway, for those who want it, hey, I just don't want. Do you want? Do you want a Facebook dating app? Why not? If people want to look for love, let them look for love, James. I'm not saying not. I'm not saying no to. I'm not saying no to love social media apps. I'm just saying combined with Facebook is the thing. That's fine. Okay. You're not gonna use it. It'll be fine. Sure. And there's also, but the reason, the big thing that happened here was Instagram integrations. So you can now post your. Um, Instagram photos onto the Facebook dating app. So if you want that, you know, like you have some good photos, you want to share them. But they're also looking to including your Instagram stories that can be shared to the dating app. Like they really want people to go to their Facebook app. Yeah. They really want people to stop using I Instagram. I used to do that. Like. The, um, well, until now, you can when you're about to upload a photo on Instagram, you press the like it says Facebook and there's a little on button. Mm -hmm. So if I press Facebook, it automatically goes to Facebook. Yeah, well, they're already doing on Facebook. I guess yeah. it'll be the same, but this time it'll say Facebook dating. Yeah, but I don't just it's Facebook dating. Everything about that sounds so wrong. Hater. Yes, that's fine. Okay, so Facebook and other companies like Microsoft have been teaming up to fight deep fakes. But uh -huh. what it, Facebook doing is that, that's what, so creepy. Yeah, it is. But what Facebook doing here, doing here, Facebook doing here, what Facebook is doing here is that they are actually creating deep fakes with actors so that they can mm. combat them with algorithms to determine what is a deep fake. So this is them being proactive. Instead okay. of waiting for people to create them, they're creating them themselves so they can work with it and help combat that. So that's okay. I'm, I'm happy that, you know. They're going against this weird thing. Yeah. Like, it's so strange. But, so I mean, strange. It's not like, like it copying someone else's face. But it's not like it doesn't have practical uses. Movies, you know. We've seen, you know, minimalist phones. We've seen dumb phones. Uh-huh. But have you, the 
the Light Phone 2. I am so against this phone. Okay, in concept, it makes sense. It's e-ink, it's, um, it's for those people who don't want social media, don't want apps, just a phone that just takes calls, does basic functions like the an alarm. The reason I'm so against this phone is the price. Yeah, that's the worst part. It's $350 for a phone that you can get the $20 Why phone. Why do I already see hipsters being like, I bought this phone to be away from social media? Yeah, I am so like judging I get it. this phone. I get it, I get hardcore. it. Okay, I get it. The price doesn't make sense. No, it doesn't. And and it has a headphone jack, awesome, and it looks small, it looks sleek, it's very light, awesome, but you can get the same experience for uh, yeah, just like a, a really dumb phone. Old Nokia yeah, I don't, Just I don't that. understand it. And the thing is, this is the sequel. This is number two. So the, clearly, number one went well enough that they're like, let's do another. You know what? Maybe, maybe I'm not seeing another side to this. If anyone in the comments below can convince me why this phone us. is awesome, us. or convince us why this phone is awesome and the price is worth it, worth I it, can't. let us know in the comments below. But if you agree with us that this phone isn't so great. <laughs> Let also, us know too. also let us know. <laughs> so we talked about as well um, previously, uh, the, you know, the, the noise radar thing going on, you know, just making sure that oh, things aren't too loud. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this other company, Bosch, 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 Bosch. Bosch. I don't the know. Bosch. The appliance company, mm -hmm. they are creating a line of super silent um, equipment. You like, an alarm clock. No, 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 no. More like... Uh, <laughs> How useless would that be? We created a super silent alarm clock. It's for those people who don't <laughs> want to wake up in the morning. <laughs> no, it's, um, it's uh, appliances like a uh, dish... Sorry. I'm just... I, it's coming to my mind things yep. that would be completely useless. <laughs> okay. Dishwashers and laundry machines, uh, stuff like that. Okay. Vacuums. Like, they're, bragging, that would be they're bragging that it's quiet, like a, like a quiet conversation. Could you imagine, like, instead of it going dun 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 dun? Okay, you like dryers? Yeah. Just well, like, if you put a shoe in there, it's gonna go dun dun. <laughs> okay, well, you can't avoid what you put in there, but I mean, like, I feel like an old man sometimes because I just want quieter things. I want I wanna, quieter I roads. Wanna, I wanna have that with a blow dryer, a vacuum machine. I don't know if those ones are particularly possible. Bosch, Bosch, if you're listening. Make those, and maybe those will sell more than yeah. the dishwasher. I guess a lot maybe of pets out there. Maybe I'm the only vacuums. maybe I'm the only pro one with a problem with too loud a dishwasher and washing yeah. machine. I don't use a dishwasher. I use anything else. Fine. So we just had the Apple event. We covered that. So if you want to check out our comments on that video, go, um, that event, go ahead and check out the video. But we already have leaks for the next iPhone. Ridiculous. They're supposedly bringing in back Touch ID. How would that make it? Um, I see it. I see it. Because, like, um, one thing I did notice that's wrong with only Face ID is if there are people out there who are, little, who are a little more sensitive to pollution and the environment and you wear a mask outside sometimes when you walk out, mm -hmm. It doesn't work. Oh, so it's just a minor inconvenience, but I mean, yeah, with, a, with the finger printer. Yeah, inconveniences out there where it's like, so you, or like when you're in bed and you happen to look at your phone while yawning at the same time, it doesn't register your face. These are, these are. <laughs> and it's, it's happened to me. Carla, <laughs> these are very unique experiences. Very specific, because it annoys me. I would like to have my finger. So you would yes. like to have that? Yes. Okay. I mean, Both it. it's just more options for people, so I don't see why people wouldn't yeah. be excited. But I don't want it at the front. I want it like at the back. You know how some, phone, some phones. You want it at the back? Yeah. Right. Because now I, re I realize I didn't like it before, but if you put it at the front, then it's on your screen. Oh, you just want more screen real estate, yeah. so you'd rather have it on the back. Yeah, unless you could have it on your screen. Yeah, I'm definitely without. for having it on the front because I don't touch the back of my phone. Well, okay. If you could put it at the front without it having to have a button. Under the display. Like, yes, the, like the S10. The, the S10 already has yeah. that. There you go. See, there is a way I don't of doing want it to be like an uh, older iPhone. I'm just waiting for under the screen camera, front facing camera, yeah. and then you're gonna get that beautiful, and you won't get the silly pop ups anymore, pop up cameras anymore. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I'm done with that. I'm saying. With all these new phones coming out and that will be coming out, you know, if you're looking to get one of these phones, why don't you trade in your old phone with us so you can upgrade and get some extra cash for that? It's super easy, guys. If you have like an extra phone that you don't use, or even your current phone, and you just wanna buy a new one, just head on over to our website and give us your phone. And you will get cash. Just and give it to us. Just give it to us. Why not? I don't see why not. Anyway, I'm Carla. And I'm James. If you guys like this video, please share it. 
like it, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel. Like and follow our social media pages, and check out our website as well. Bye!